We're with head coach Jeff Tamboni, the Penn State men's lacrosse team, who opens the se- uh, the program's 100th season at Michigan this weekend. What are your thoughts on the game coming up? We're just ultra excited here. It's been a long fall, long preseason. Uh, we're excited about the way that we've progressed. Uh, we, we've got a wonderful challenge ahead of us uh, throughout the course of the entire season, and, and certainly a wonderful challenge ahead of us uh, as we open up against uh, our, our Big Ten uh, conference foe in, in Michigan. It seems like they've gotten off to a great start in their first couple of scrimmages. Uh, seem to have a lot of momentum and energy coming into the first game, um, as I believe our guys do. So we're excited to get on the bus tomorrow and head out of town and, and up to Michigan and, and, and hopefully get the season off to a good start. You mentioned that they are a fellow Big Ten member, along with Ohio State. Uh, the three teams compete for the Creators Trophy. Can you talk a little bit about the trophy and what it means to the three programs? You know, the, the three coaches of, of Ohio State, Michigan, and, and myself, we got together of, uh, a, about a year ago and started talking about creating uh, something that was going to be symbolic of the tradition of our of our league, the Big Ten, uh, the league that all three of our schools are affiliated with, not, not in lacrosse, but uh, in all other sports. And um, just thought it was going to be a nice rivalry to have for the three, you know, initial teams, uh, the original teams in the Big Ten. And... Um, so it's a it's it's an honor to compete against Michigan. It's an honor to compete against Ohio State, um, representing our, our three programs, representing the Big Ten, and uh, you got to go two and zero to win the Creators Trophy. We were fortunate enough to win it in its first year last year, and I know our guys are very hopeful uh, that we can uh, do a good job of getting off to a good start against Michigan on Saturday to see if we can't retain uh, retain that trophy. Second straight year that your team has started on the road last year. It was at um, Kennesaw, Georgia against a tough North Carolina team. What kind of uh, things do you tell your guys to kind of get them in the mentality for a road game? You know, our guys did a really good job last year without traveling. Our, our, our road record was, was far better than our, our home record uh, for whatever reason. I thought our guys did a pretty good job. I think it starts with focus. I think you develop some adversity um, throughout the course of the, the fall and into the preseason and you challenge your guys uh, quite a bit uh, to maintain that focus throughout. Um, you got to have great senior leadership uh, so that they can travel like pros, get on the bus, and make sure that they understand the reason that we're leaving State College and heading out to Michigan. Um, and then when we get there, they got to make sure that their mindset is in the right place through, through the entire trip. Um, I mean, it's, it's, there's going to be some distractions heading on the bus, certainly going to be just some distractions on a campus uh, such as Michigan heading inside to play. First time that we've ever been up to Michigan, first time that we've played in their indoor facility. Um, but I'm confident that our leaders – uh, Jack Forrester, Travis Crane, our seniors will do a great job of making sure that they lead the way, uh, that they continue their focus through our pregame practice tomorrow, uh, into our trip and into that that first contest. So, uh, I think if we can rely on that that veteran leadership, we're going to be okay. We've got to make sure we do a great job of just uh, doing the little things, taking care of the details, and if we can do that, everything else will take care of itself on game day. All right, thank you very much. Thank you.